were in. So let me know what you feel about the opinion of having to be productive, which means uh, you were speaking about work life. Now let's talk about hobbies. Should mm. someone have been learning a new language, learning a new craft, you know, developing a new hobby, building their own business? What do you think about that? Whatever works for you, I think, is my my most open and honest answer. You cannot expect everyone to perform the same way in crisis. And that was crisis, like pandemic. Some of some people were losing jobs. Some people were losing family members. Some people were working all the way through the pandemic. There were so many different scenarios that people were experiencing. And everyone experiences like these kind of situations so differently and some will just kind of put their head down learn a new hobby do something meaningful for them and it's great and I'm really happy for people who are able to do that and equally I completely understand people who were not and I struggled reading books throughout the whole pandemic I was at home I wasn't doing as much but just that that thing that I mentioned before couldn't pick anything up again I was quite good with my work I was I was doing all right but it was still a very highly anxious time and a very sad time as well for so many people so I would not put expectations on anyone in that time and I would respect those who did lose weight I would respect those who gained weight I respect those who got some hobbies uh, some new hobbies I, I respect those who discovered something new about themselves that improved themselves but I also completely understand the people who didn't because they probably had a really good reason why they couldn't and not because they're just lazy there's there's always so many more different things that could be happening with them that same mental health included so yeah let's just be kind to each other I think is the biggest thing like let's not try and yeah that that's old uh saying that let's just not try and um compare everyone by their ability to like climb a tree like what was that the fish story oh and I never heard of that but that seems awesome don't, there was something like, like don't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree I think was the same oh yeah, yeah okay <laughs> But yeah, go ahead and try to swim like a fish. I don't know about that one, right? So you're exactly. right. I I love the I love your answer because it's true. Like at first, I was also one of those people who thought, oh, if you're not doing anything during quarantine, wow, you wasted your life, you wasted your time. You're never gonna have that kind of privilege again. This and that. I don't know about lazy, but you know what I mean. I just felt like they they it was a missed opportunity. But it's not necessarily an opportunity, as you just said. That was mm -hmm. a crisis, and that was a worldwide shared uh, piece of anxiety that everyone had to manifest differently. Like it, some of them are going to be able to just go ahead and repress that a bit and move on, be productive, and others are going to be a little bit more overwhelmed. So yeah, I really appreciate that answer. And look at that, some support for those who did gain weight. <laughs> Exhibit A definitely gained some. That was really hard to get rid of once quarantine ended, and I'm sure many also. You know, a lot of people said they even uh, gained up to like 20 pounds, and that's a lot. But it's just difficult during that time when you're not allowed to leave, right? So I mean, yeah. hey, and comfort food is right there. So what are you gonna do, right? Exactly <laughs> so that. Was that. Great. Exactly that. And we need to remember that we had the commute time, like we had to walk somewhere, we had a longer distance to the even restrooms and back in the offices, like we had to go to the train or whatever the, 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 yeah, the, grabbing coffee, the vehicle, grabbing like, yeah, exactly yeah. all of these little things. And then you're suddenly in the house, you're stressed, as you say, yeah, your fridge is just there. It, <laughs> the food was how many people started baking? That was one hobby that skyrocketed. <laughs> yeah, and really. Probably yeah. all over the world. So, so yeah, we're suddenly making food. Like that was the only thing we could do, walk around the house or make food. So <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Hey, like they say, comfort food. If you want to hear more stories, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. To support more youth by youth led projects, visit us at youthspeak.ca where you can donate and spread youth mental health awareness. Youth Speak Performance Charity. Speak, inspire, change.